Yeah, so how you been? Yeah, I woke up today, so there's that. Amen to that, homie. Anyway, so have you talked to your boyfriend yet today? No. What goes on in that head of his? Well, I could say some highly inappropriate things right now, but I think I'll spare you that. Anyway, I saw your little girlfriend. You saw Sawyer? Calm down. Calm down. First, I don't want you jizzing all over the car. And second, I just saw her in the hallway going to my next class. That was Iron Bacon by Incompetech. Here on 104.2 TV. Are you coming to class or should I tell the professor you're looking for the Loch Ness Monster? Sorry, you didn't hear that? The Jam. No, I didn't hear anything. You must be hearing things. Hey, Sawyer. Hey, Sawyer. Hey, you know I'm right about Nessie. She's totally real. Yeah, and I'm married to Sawyer. It was to determine the associations of near work and outdoor activity with myopia and Singapore children. I already described the SCOM study earlier in the day, so I'll skip through the slides. Um, we are primarily analyzing the 2006 visit data because we use the same question as the Singapore market study and the children who are aged 11 to 20 years in the year 2006. Um, I've explained before that we asked about near work activity, reading the books per week, uh, reading hours per day, computer use in hours per day, and we asked about it every year during our yearly visits as well. And then in 2006, we worked uh, closely with Kathy Rose and I've already described the SCOM study earlier in the day, so I'll skip through these slides. Um, we are primarily analyzing the 2006 visit data because we use the same question as the Singapore Market Study and the children who are aged 11 to 20 years in the year 2006. Um, I've explained before that. Hey, you're here early. Hey, yeah. Mr. Donahue's class got out early, and I thought I would send Max a you can do it text so he can finally ask Sawyer out. If he can get a date with her, I'll give him 50 bucks. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so you looked pretty distracted when I walked in. You okay? Yeah, I told you I was writing a text to Max. I know the face you make when you're concerned about Max. This is completely different. I can't explain it. Try me. No, really. I can't explain what I'm hearing. All I know is, is it's getting louder. Oh, uh, why did we think an early class was smart? Because it's only English, it's easy, and we're both good at it. I is not down for this chat in the morning. You know, if I wasn't your best friend, I'd kick you out of this car right now. You never kick me out of this car. You're right. Mike pays me way too much to be your best friend. Asshole. Okay, you know what? I'll, t I'll take that back. He pays me an adequate amount. Again, asshole. Oh, I love you too. And I love you as well. And you know that, right? playing games on me. 
I don't even know what's real and what's fake. Okay, Psycho, seriously, what's going on? You're acting all fidgety and stuff. Have you been drinking coffee again? No, that's not it. What? What is it? You know what? It's too early in the morning for this. Oh, well, okay, whatever. I gotta go park. Um, why don't you just save me see in class, okay? Okay. Alright, Crazy Eyes, you might tell us where we're going for a second? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Because Max sure as hell did it. What? Nothing. Can we go? Yeah, let's get out of here. Sanctuary, harmony, forever. 